Hello friends, in this video I am going to show you a fix for an another Android Studio error. Let's get into the error details. After making the build, when I run the app, it opens the emulator window and keeps showing connecting to the emulator. After a long wait, I get this error saying, timed out after 300 seconds waiting for emulator to come online. I have tried many ways to fix this error. In this video, I will show you all of them and explain which way I have fixed this error in my Android Studio. First, let me remove the log files for this emulator because I am getting the emulator is already running error when I try launching the emulator again. This error I have solved in my last video only. The solution is simple, that is remove the log files in the disk. I have removed the log files, now we will go to fix the timeout error. Let's try the solution number one that is changing the emulator configurations. Because the problem is with emulator, let me change the emulator graphics. Click on edit and change the graphic settings. Click on finish. Now launch the emulator. It shows starting AVD but device is not shown. Ok, it didn't even open the emulator window. But uh, again if I try launching the emulator, it says already running. So, my first solution didn't work for my Android Studio. We will go to the solution number 2 that is creating new virtual device. Click on create device in the device manager. Ok, let me select lower resolution emulator this time. Selected Nexus 1 and API level 31 and graphics selected software. Now click finish. Created the virtual device for Nexus 1. Now launch the emulator. It shows starting AVD, but it didn't open the device at all. But when I try running uh, the emulator once again, it gives the lock error. Mm, okay, remove the lock files for these emulators before going to third solution. The solution number three is launching the standalone emulator. Till now, we tried to launch the emulator in Android Studio tool window. Now launch as a separate application. For this go to preferences, tools, emulator and deselect the option launch in a tool window. Now revert back the graphics options to automatic because it didn't work for us. That is a fix number one. Now launch the emulator. Oh good. It opened the emulator as a standalone application. Now once it created the emulator, we will run the application. Okay, now run the app. The app is also installed on the emulator successfully. If you are okay to run your app on the standalone emulator window, this fix is good for you. But I wanted the app to be installed on the embedded emulator. So I am reverting back the option. Uh, the launch in a tool window option in my emulator preferences. So we will go for the next solution. If the above three solutions didn't work for you, the final solution is install or reinstall the latest emulator version. For this, go to SDK manager and select SDK tools tab. Here you can see the Android emulator option. If your Android studio has the latest version installed, try reinstalling it again by selecting and applying. But here I have the update available for my emulator. So I am installing the latest Android emulator version. It's downloading the emulator updates. Updates are installed. Click on finish. Now try launching the emulator. Oh, very good. Now, my uh, embedded emulator has been launched successfully after the uh, emulator version update. Now, run the app. It's creating the build. Build is successful. Now, it launched the application also. Okay, now try running multiple devices. Uh, here I, you can select multiple devices. Here I have selected two devices that is Nexus 1 and Nexus S and run the project. Here it opened the two devices whatever I have selected. 
in the embedded emulator window so both the emulators are uh, launching nexus one is fast now it has to install the application also so run the app now it started installing the application so launch is successful in nexus one first finally our application is installed on both the emulators okay friends let me know which solution has worked for you in your android studio thank you